Welcome back to TNM. Ooh, I did not see this one coming. Now, this should be titled How to Catch a Cheating Husband. Bafana Bafana, soccer star Matthew Good has been exposed by his wife and she's got all the receipts there by Instagram. All right, so let's get into it, you guys. Exhibit A. Husband and wife, Sonia and Matthew Booth, married for over 16 years now. And exhibit B, Bongani Mula, the side chick and homewrecker, according to Sonia. <laughs> now, she's also been married to her husband for 10 years. And yes, she's also married. So anyway, Sonia came guns blazing. She was shaking Instagram yesterday when she exposed her husband's cheating ways with a few shocking shocking instagram posts okay now according to sonia this all started with the cheesecake okay now it seems like matthew booth is quite the baker there now she noticed a few cheesecake ingredients in the fridge and there he was baking the cheesecake and she says her and her boys were so excited like wow we are about to tuck into this cheesecake but you know what happened the cheesecake was gone yes all of it disappeared magically so whilst matthew was baking he was not baking for her and the kids now he was baking for the side chick there miss bongani miller and he took the cheesecake over to bongani miller's house where they enjoyed the cheesecake right this cake was baked in sonia booth's tapway so that's how it all came about now, Miss Sonia uh, Boothie was really, really prepared with her findings, okay? She did her work. She took the time to gather all her investigations together because she was so ready to expose this guy. She knew something was off. She knew, you know, his uh, cheating ways had resurfaced here. She knew that this guy was up to no good. So what she did was... She basically, you know, was like following his, you know, his patterns. The guy would run, you know, he would take a, a, a walk. He would take odd turns suddenly to this new address. And when she rang up the address, she noticed that a few transactions were off. He was buying flowers for this person, spending huge amounts on this new woman. She followed him and she found out that, okay, so the address belonged to no other than Bongani Miller. Now, who is Bongani Miller? Bongani Miller is a woman that works with the soccer team, right? So she probably trains with them and does all of that, the, um, the physical therapy and so on and so on. And she decided, okay... Let me try and set up a meeting with Bongani Muller's husband. So she called the guy and they spoke for over 19 minutes, according to her. And she explained her case that, look, my husband is cheating with your wife. And this is what I found, right? And the husband, to his dismay, was like, look, I've been knowing that she was cheating. I just didn't know who it was. I was just so tired. I almost gave up. And I didn't know what to do, right? So they had this conversation and Sonia basically told the guy, look, this is my plan. This is what I'm trying to do. I want to expose these two lying cheats because I'm tired, right? And uh, Bongani Muller's husband gave Sonia his blessings and he was like, look, you know what? I totally understand. Do what you have to do. Go ahead. You have my blessings. So that was a done deal. Okay, so later on, um, Bongani Muller joins Matthew Booth and they go over to Mbangeni for a trip, a lover's trip, if you would say. Now, she gave an excuse to her husband that she was going there to train with the boys and Matthew as well gave the same explanation that they are going over to Mbangeni to train, having a training session or whatever. But as we know, it was a hookup session, right? <laughs> so there they were took a seven-hour drive to Mbangeni together in, you won't believe in whose car, in Sonia's car, okay? These two took the trip, a lover's trip, in Sonia Booth's car, having a lovely dally moment together. And then Sonia discovered, okay, so actually, 
Bongani left her kids with her nanny or the grandmother at the time so she could be away and be away with uh, Matthew Booth at the time, right? So she can have all these sex escapades or whatever you want to call it with uh, Matthew Booth with no other interruptions there. It carried on, it carried on. And then it got to a point where Sonia had all these findings, right? She found, you know, these expensive gifts that Bongani would give to her husband, a Gucci perfume. She's got taste, honey. Yeah. So <laughs> she gifted Matthew Booth an expensive perfume and many others. You know, they, they, they had a culture of gifting each other, uh, Matthew Booth and Bongani Miller, that is. So eventually she got tired and she warned Bongani Miller, like, sis, I'm warning you, and I've warned you before. Stay away from my man. Stop this, or I'm going to expose you, right? And then this got everyone panicking, because now people got sent to uh, Sonia Booth's house, trying to warn her, like, no, please, don't do anything crazy. Don't take your life. Don't do anything suspicious, right? And she was like, look, I'm not about to take my life. I'm just out here trying to protect my family like any wife would because I'm tired at this point. I am tired of this man. Okay. So to me, it sounds like she possibly might have confronted Matthew Booth over his cheating ways. And he probably like any other cheating person would look, I'm sorry, it's the last time or whatever. And he continued. And so Sonia was a bit over this. She was tired at this point. She was not having it. She was like, look, I've done everything. I have the receipts, the transactions, everything. These people are still cheating. And I want the good sis over there, Bongani Mula, to stop seeing my man, stay away from my family. But still, she's carrying on, right? So it got to a point where she just had to do what she had to do. She came on Instagram and shocked us with these receipts, right? So I don't blame her. I don't blame Son, um, Sonia Boothie for doing what she did because she got to a point where she was so exhausted. And I think she's come to a point now where she's like, actually, forget it all. I'm done. Emotionally, she's done. She's exhausted, right? Because she had a, a private investigator follow Matthew wherever he went. And according to her, there is still more to come. She has some pg18 okay receipts content <laughs> adult content that these two have been up to that means photos or videos or whatever and she's saying should it continue and should she feel like it she will release all of this content all of this juicy spicy content so yeah matthew has to be careful bongani Muller needs to stay away from her husband. That's on period, right? Or these two need to go for therapy or they need to decide what is happening here because it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess, right? It's a whole mess. But do let me know your thoughts down below. What would you have done in Sonia Booth's case? What would you have done if also you were the side chick? Would you let this man go? Because it looks like Bongani... Mulade is tired of her husband. Now, by appearance, it looks like the husband is much older than Matthew Boothie. So maybe she was like, nope, I want myself some fresh media. I want this young, juicy, vanilla man. And he was like, oh, okay, this is new. This is different. Matthew was probably like, okay, I want to try something different. Maybe he, he felt, you know, he caught some feelings for her because they work closely with each other. And maybe some feelings developed over time and they tried to fight it and one thing led to another and it came to be. And also this Matthew Booth definitely has the type, okay? He likes some chocolate um, and, you know, Bongani Miller seems to also have a type. She likes some vanilla, right? So they both have a type here. So who is wrong here? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And let's leave it there for now, you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.